Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install OBS Studio on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So we are not going to uh, use the official website to install OBS Studio. We are going to use a package manager, which is called Snap to install OBS Studio. Snap package manager is created by Canonical, which is also the creator of uh, Ubuntu operating system. So open your favorite browser and search for install OBS Studio Snap. And the first link which will appear here will be from snapcraft.io forward slash OBS Studio. So I'm going to click on this link here and you will see the OBS Studio uh, section in the snapcraft.io website. So here you just need to click on this install button here and you will see the command to install the OBS Studio. So we are going to copy this command and the command is sudo snap install OBS hyphen studio. So just copy that command and then open your terminal. To open the terminal, click on show apps and then click on terminal here, which is going to open the terminal and we are going to paste this command here. And now I'm going to press enter, which is going to ask me to provide my Ubuntu's password. So here you need to provide your password, which you use to log into your Ubuntu operating system and then press enter here, which is going to start the installation of OBS Studio. Now in here, we just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. And after a few seconds, you can see uh, that OBS Studio is installed on my Ubuntu operating system. And it says OBS Studio 30.1.1 from Snapcrafters installed. So once OBS Studio is installed, you can just uh, close this terminal and then you can go to your apps section. So click on show apps section and you will see the OBS Studio icon here. You can also search for OBS here and you will see the result for OBS Studio. So I'm going to click on this icon here, which is going to open the OBS Studio on my Ubuntu operating system. So you can see uh, this first window which says background removal update available. So we are going to just uh, close this window for now. And now you have this uh, window which says auto configuration wizard. And here it says usage information specify what you want to use uh, the program for. So here there are two options optimize for streaming recording is secondary. And then it says optimize for recording I will not be streaming. So for now, I want to use OBS Studio for the screen recording. So I will choose the second option. So based upon your preferences, you can select any option from here and then click on next. And then because I have chosen the screen recording option, I can see uh, some uh, screen recording option related configuration, for example, video settings. For now, I'm going to leave everything as uh, default here and then click on next. And it says final result, the program is now executing a set of tests to estimate the ideal setting. So just wait for a few seconds until uh, this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. And once that's done, you can click on apply settings, which is going to apply your settings uh, on the OBS Studio. And it also says OBS uh, WebSocket. For now, I don't want to do this. So I'm going to click on no here and then click on OK. Now, in order to create a screen recording using OBS Studio, you need to create a source first of all. So under source, click on the plus icon here. Here we are going to choose the option which is called screen capture. And then I'm going to leave the screen capture as a default. You can also change the name and then click on OK here. And you will be able to see uh, this kind of uh, window here. So I'm going to click on share here. And then you can see uh, the next option where you will select the monitor. And then you can also leave this uh, checkbox as checked, which says show cursor and then click on OK, which is going to start capturing your screen, right? But still we can change some other settings here, for example, audio settings and video settings. So for that, click on uh, settings option here. And on the settings, uh, you can see the general section where you can change the language and themes and other uh, general settings here. You can also uh, change the stream related settings, but we don't want to change it. The output here is 
the recording output so you can see this will be the location where your recordings will be uh, available after you have recorded your video so if you want to change the location you can change uh, the location by clicking on the browse option so i want to change the location because i want uh, some location which i can remember so i'm going to click on computer here and then click on the root here and then i'm going to select home here and then my username and then here i will have my videos under the videos folder so i'm going to select the videos folder and then click on choose and this uh, path i can remember easily that that's why i have changed this and the default recording format will be .mkv file but what i like to do generally is i like to record my uh, screens in mp4 format so i'm going to select mp4 here and then you can also select the audio settings here and if you are using some kind of uh, auxiliary mic or something you can choose that mic from here but for now i would want to use the default audio so i will leave it as default but as i said if you are using mic you will be able to see it in this section in the video settings you can uh, see the base canvas for now i'm going to leave it as default but later you can always change it so i'm going to click on apply here and then click on ok and then i'm going to uh, click on start recording which is going to start the screen capture on my desktop so let me minimize this and uh, let me screen capture my browser and here i will search for obs studio for example and then i'm going to go to the official website of obs studio here and you will be able to get more information about uh, obs studio here also so i'm going to capture this screen for a demonstration and once you are done you can once again go to your obs studio and then you can click on stop recording from here or you can open the obs studio and then you can click on stop recording here once uh, you have stopped the recording your video will be saved uh, to the location which i have shown you so in my case this location is in my home directory i have this videos folder the file name will be uh, the date and time and the format here is .mp4 and then from here i'm going to just click on open with and i can select the app using which i want to open this video so i will select chrome here and then click on open and you can see uh, it's showing me uh, my screen capture so you can see i have captured this browser and i have opened the obs studio uh, in the browser and it's showing that right so this is how you can screen capture your uh, desktop on your ubuntu operating system using obs so this is how you can install and set up obs studio on your ubuntu operating system i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video